Well, 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 it's Wednesday, and it's time to draw again. I'm Boris, and it's also race day. Did you know that? Wednesday race day. It hasn't happened very often, but it has happened several times this year, in this uh, strange year we're living in. So I figured, why not draw some all-star race cars? Because tonight, a special race from Bristol. The all-star race has switched over to the Bristol Motor Speedway. And there's some special things happening that you might already know about. We're going to draw the underglow lights that are going to be on the race cars tonight, as well as the special number placement, which is a, a new special one race thing, where the numbers have actually moved towards the back of the car. So we're going to have to adjust how we draw them, but that's all right. We can apply all the things we've been learning over these weeks and apply them in a new way to a new car, all right? So I'm going to see who's out there tuning in. Good to see everybody. Glad you're with me today. I'm, uh, I'm finally today getting my, my hair cut. Can you believe it? It has, uh, I haven't gotten one since all this stuff started in March. And so months, months have gone by and I'm finally going to do it. So I hope you're proud of me. we got Danny out there and Devin and John and Matthew. Thank you all for watching. I've got my little car model here, this Martin Truex Jr. die cast, so you can get it at shopjgr.com as well as my hat, shopjgr.com. I'm going to use this as my model. If you need a model, you should get a, a die cast car. If not, you can just follow along with what I'm doing. So, let's check my uh, Apple Pencil. It's working. I think it's time to start drawing. What do you say? Here we go. Let's start with a fresh blank canvas here. And I'm going to draw a little line here just to make sure everything's working right. Now I have to decide what we're, what angle we're going to draw. I think we need to do a side angle so we can see that number, but maybe like a rear side angle so we can see the underglow too, okay? So I want you to draw an angled line about like this. And this is going to be for our all-star race cars. Special race day today. A short race, an exciting race with some special rules, special paint schemes, special lights. It's going to be pretty awesome at Bristol. All right, there's Nicholas out there. How about Roger? Jack's watching. Lynette's watching. Happy Wednesday, Lynette. There's JJ. All right. Did you get your line in there? I can erase this over here that I, I did, this little scribble. We don't need that. All right, there's Daniel. He's watching. Some longtime watchers here today. I appreciate you tuning in. We're drawing the rear side angle of the car. So... It's kind of going to be an angle like this, kind of like that. Well, maybe a little more like that. See that? Okay. It's going to be something like that. All right. Here we go. We're going to draw Martin Truex's car, the Bass Pro Shops Camry. But there's something special about these cars. They're running lights underneath and they have the numbers in a special location. So here we go. We're drawing a little, kind of like a check mark. So we have our long angled line, and then it goes up a little bit on the right, kind of like a check mark. Now this is going to be the rear of the car right there. And if you draw, draw with me before, you know the, the name of the game is drawing simple shapes that we already know how to draw, and then turning them into race cars. So we're drawing a box, or kind of like a brick, a brick shape here. So we need three lines going up. We need a line over here. We need a line right here. We need a line right here. Okay, so we're going to make a block or a brick shape and then we're going to carve away the edges and reveal our really cool looking race car. Okay? All right, so you have two lines down like a check mark and then three going up. Do you have those? Now we need to connect the dots. We need to connect these lines like this. Now you see how the bottom line and this top line are in the same angle. They're going the same direction. They're parallel. That means if they went on forever, they would never touch. They would never cross. They run side by side. See that? And they both go in this up angle. Well, we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to connect that one and this one. And look how I'm just being sketchy here. I'm not worried about a perfectly straight line. I'm drawing a light line that will probably be erased in some spots. So it's not about making a perfect line here. It's just about giving us a bounding box, some boundaries and some lines to follow. Daniel says he's super excited. So is Jack. So am I. As a NASCAR fan, tonight's race is something that you dream about, right? Special rules. They're going to get to choose which 
line they restart in, the high line or the low line, depending on which is faster. They're going to have lights under the cars. They're going to have the numbers towards the back. It's really cool just to try something new and have some fun. Roger's out there. Roger likes my hat. Thank you, Roger. ShopJGR.com. They let me borrow it for today. All right. There's Mary Lou. We're, let's see. Uh, all right. Daniel says he was trying to put underglow lights on his actual die cast, which is an interesting idea. I like that. Okay, we got the, the basics of the side of the car now. We need to put a, a roof on this thing. And so, kind of like a house roof, the, house, the, the sides go like this, but they're not going to come to a point. So we're going to start with one back here, and we're going to go up, and we're going to start with one in the front, and we're going to go up like that. Okay? I might even come back a little bit on this one. All right. And then you connect those two. All right. This is looking pretty good. Already looks like a good race car. Okay, let's see here. Now we need to draw another line over here. This is going to be our trunk. And then we need to connect the bottom of our roof to that trunk. See how I did that? We drew the back over here, and we're just connecting it across. And then this is the front. See, this is the, where the windshield is going to be up front. So that's how you can tell what's going on. All right. There's Sean out there. There's, there's Robert, my buddy Robert. Robert and I grew up in South Florida. We didn't know each other at the time. Well, he knew my sister, but he's, he works for NASCAR now. I work in the NASCAR industry. Pretty cool. Good guy out there. Sean's watching. Thank you so much. There's Rob. All right, now let's draw the other side of the windshield over there. See it? Same line. Goes up, and then the roof connects back here. There we go. Look at that. That is looking good. And just like that, you've drawn the roof of a race car. You see how it's a whole bunch of simple lines that we're then we're going to chisel away and shape into an aerodynamic, smooth, fast race car. It won't stay this blocky, don't worry. All right. Finally, at the front on the nose, just cut it across a little bit like this. Just cut it across, make a triangle. Look at there. So with simple shapes that you know how to draw, like squares and rectangles and some parts of triangles and whatnot, we've already made the basis of our race car. Now is the part where we really make it look like a race car. We make it look fast. This is the fun part. Oh, Devin's got a birthday coming up. All right, Devin, you should draw a good, uh, a good car for your birthday and send it to me so I can put it on the show. Let's see here. Dustin's looking forward to the race. All right. What's next? I want you to curve off the front of this nose over here on the left side. Give it a little bit of a curve like this. A little bit of a curve. Just chisel it off just like that. Now if you can't erase like me, that's okay. We can turn those lines into something else in a, in a minute. Maybe the wall behind the car or something like that. But I'm going to erase mine. If you can't, don't worry about it. We can turn it into something else. That's one of the things we've learned on our drawing shows is we can really work with the situation we've been dealt and, and make our drawing look pretty good no matter what happens. So just curve it off like that. I tell you what, that's one of the only parts we have to curve. If you want to curve the roof a little bit, you can do that. I might do that a bit just to curve that so it doesn't look so sharp. But uh, for the most part, we don't have much chiseling to do on this one. You know, this is the same way that people who make sculptures this is the same way that they work. They start with a block of stone or clay or wood, and then they just chip away at it. So we're doing that. We're just doing it with lines and drawings. But see just like that how we have an aerodynamic race car now since it has that smooth front end. When the, when the air can go over a smooth surface, it can move a lot easier, and the car can go a lot faster through the air. All right. Yep, Jax likes those zoomy lines. Sean's looking forward to the race. So am I, Sean. Have a fun time. 
All right, so we're going to draw some wheel wells now. If you're like Jack and Daniel and Devin and all those folks watching out there, you know how we're going to do it. We're going to do an upside down letter U. Okay, so we're going to start at the front. And we're going to do a letter U going up like this. There you go. See, you know how to draw a letter U. Well, just like that, we did the front of the race car. Now stick with me, we've got to finish these foundational parts and then we can add the fun stuff like the underglow and the number in the new placement and all that fun stuff. So stick with me here. Alright, now at the back, right about there, we need to put our rear wheel well. The wheel well is where the wheel lives in the tire. Alright. Now at the back wheel, I want you to kick up the rear bumper a bit like this. So we're going to chisel off a little bit of it right back here and this is important because we have to leave room for our underglow our, our lights so what we're gonna do is erase that part now remember if you can't erase that's okay we'll just make this the part where our lights are we'll fill that in with with light so don't worry about it if you can't erase all right Oh, Sean's at the racetrack. All right, he's seeing the race cars. Okay, now let's uh, let's put in some wheels. We're just gonna make some round parts here. See that? Kind of just another little U at the bottom. That's all we're gonna do on this one. It's just another U at the bottom. This is a correctly placed U. It's not upside down. And just like that, we have our wheels in there. All right, this one's going a little quicker than we're, we're doing some quicker methods than we have in the past. All right, and now typically back here we would draw a shadow, right? Because we want the car to look like it's stuck to the ground, but something special is happening tonight at Bristol. They're running underglow lights under the car so you can see them better. And our Toyota Camry race cars are going to have red underglow lights. So there'll be three different colors depending on which kind of car the race car drivers are driving and the Toyotas are going to be red so I'm looking forward to seeing that I'm going to put this line back in here for our windshield rear windshield I should say there we go now we need to draw our windows right well I want you to cut them in half right about here draw a line up like this don't go all the way to the top just right about in the roof draw a line going up Okay. Devin was asking about the finish at Kentucky. Well, we were disappointed that Martin didn't win it. That's for sure, but it was still fun to watch. It was still fun to watch, but we wished old Martin could have won that one at Kentucky. He was so close. That would have been a good turnaround for his season. But it was still a good finish. All right, so I drew another line, kind of like the number 11. And now at the rear, we're going to draw a window that kind of looks like the letter D. See? These race cars, there's nothing too complicated about it. All these things you already know how to draw, like the letter D, we're just doing it in a specific way to make it look like the rear windshield. That's why I say that anybody can draw these race cars. It's it's fun to try. Don't don't give up. Oh, Danny says there's going to be a lot of red lights up front. I hope so. It's going to be fun. All right. Now here's the front window. Just follow the lines you already drew. Whoop. Like this. Just follow those lines up there. And just like that, our race cars come together looking good. We already have a line for the spoiler back here, so we're in pretty good shape. What I'm going to do is just draw another line under it so I can fill it in in black, and that gives us our spoiler. There's the car we're draw drawing. Now it's a little different. The side is a little different for this race. I'm going to show you how in just a second. All right. This is looking good. Gosh, it makes me want to draw a shadow back here, but I have to remember, no shadow tonight back there. There's going to be lights back there illuminating the rear end, so no shadow needed. All right. This is looking pretty good, I have to say. So here's what I want you to do 
in order to draw the glow under the car. We're going to make a little border around our car at the bottom, and I'll show you how to do it. You watch first, and then you can try on yours. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start outside the car and make sure this is round. I'm going to make it light, but it's a border outside the car like this. See that? And then it's going to go like this. And it's going to tuck under the rear bumper like that. Okay, so this is going to be our, our glow for our lights. And what we're going to do is we're going to color in our track around it, but we're going to stay outside of that glow so that we can fill it with color and light. All right. So what's next on this car? I think I'm going to start filling in some lines for the track. And these can go however you want them to. I'm going to just keep them straight and zoomy like this. See how they're all going in the same direction? Like that. Look at that. They're all going in the same direction and I'm staying out of that glow as much as I can. Staying out of that glow as much as I can here. But this is going to be our racetrack and it's zooming by. Just do a bunch of lines about as dark as you can. Push, as you, push down hard. Don't break your pencil or your crown or whatever you're using. But just push down to make them thick and it's going to make them zoom by and look fast. Look at that. I'm just going fast, not worrying about them being perfect. They're just zooming by. We're not going to see them again until the next lap, so we're not worried about it right now. I'll probably come in and fill them in a little bit with some color later, but for now we're just marking our track. And it's going to be a night race, so that's why I'm using such dark colors. Alright. So we have a place for our glow. We have our car. Let's, let's talk about numbers now. Okay, now don't draw this. I'm going to show you where the numbers used to go. The numbers typically go in this box right here. And they'll go back to that after tonight. But tonight we're running a special, a special scheme with some special number placement. They used to go right under the driver's window like that. Okay? But tonight, I'm going to cut this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's not what I want. Let me see here. I'm going to cut this out. And I'm going to move it and I'm going to show you where the numbers are going to be tonight. Here we go. The numbers are going to be back in front of the rear wheel like this. So we're going to save, use the same method that we always do for our numbers. But we're going to move them back a little bit. Like that. Alright, you got it? So draw a box just like that. Sean's excited about how Christopher Bell is doing. He's our Toyota racing teammate, so we're, we're excited to see Christopher doing better. Justin's out there. Thank you, Justin, for the compliment. Thanks for watching. Oh, Sean's seeing some cool things. Thanks for watching, Sean. All right, Daniel wants to see those lights in victory lane. That would be pretty awesome. All right, now you know for a number, what do we do? We divide it in half. This case for the 19, we're going to divide it right there. And the number one is going to be up there, right? And then that re leaves room for a dot there for the top of the nine, and a dot here, and then a line over. And just like that, we have the number 19. Now you can use that method to make any double digit number that you want. Double digit just means there's two numbers, right? One and a nine to make 19. So any two numbered number that you want to use, you can use that method. All right, so we got the 19 in there in the special place for tonight. Now the Bass Pro Shops logo, that circular logo with the fish, is going to go right up here. So I'm just going to draw a circle over here. More like an oval, actually, not really a circle. That's how we know where that logo is going to go. And then we have a, a line under it that basically wraps around that logo right there. So... Here we go. See what I did there? An oval, and then a line, kind of looks like a comet, that wraps around the oval like that. Alright, now that's important because that's going to be bright orange up there. That's how we tell that Martin Truex car. That's how we see it. Alright, a lot of people watching. I appreciate it. We're having fun out here. Drawing the new underglow, drawing the number placement for the special all-star race. 
And watch tonight on the restarts, because the cars, the drivers are going to get to pick which lane they think is the best to restart in. That means if if the top 10 drivers decide, hey, I want to be in the low line because it's faster, well, maybe the 11th place person says, hmm, I'm going to go up to the second place, and I'm going to restart up there on the high line, even though the high line is a little slower. I'm going to give it a shot. Could be pretty cool, huh? All right. We're getting pretty close to coloring in here. I'm just telling you. We're getting close. So I'm going to I'm going to finish up up here with a wall. We're going to draw the line like this. This is the wall. And it's going to run right up here. Like that. Now the wall at Bristol is black, so we're going to have to fill that in with black at some point. I know that uh it takes a while to fill things in, so you can save that for the end if you want to. I'm just going to add some more lines in here. A lot of black, but it's a night it's a night race. So that makes sense. That makes sense why we're putting so much dark into this into this drawing. A lot of lines in there. It's a fast looking car, isn't it? Everything's just zooming by. Alright, now let's let's work on that glow first. What do you say? So here's the secret to the underglow. It's gonna be red, and so the outermost edge of this glow is gonna be our darkest red, or our truest red, I should say. Okay, so what I'm saying is I'm just going to work in layers, and I am going to add in layers of red, and I'll show you what I mean. So on the outside of this glow, I want you to just draw an outline of red around it, like this, okay? Just draw an outline of red, like that. See how our glow shape is being outlined in red? This is going to help it look like a light. I'm also going to just draw some red right around the car area like this. Okay? So I did an outline. Now what we're going to do is with each outline that we do within that shape we're going to get lighter and lighter, sort of towards a pink. Okay? But you can either do that in two ways. You can either press a little lighty, lightly, more lightly with your crown or your colored pencil or whatever you're using to color, just press more lightly. Or you can actually choose a lighter red. I'm going to do a little bit of both. I'm going to choose a lighter red. And then I'm just going to make a line here with that lighter red like that. See how I'm making another outline? Just a little bit of a lighter red. And then I'm going to go up and we're just getting closer and closer to white with each outline that we do. We're never going to get to true pure white, but it's just going to get lighter and lighter the more we go, okay? See that? See how it kind of looks like a glow now? Yeah, I like that. That's looking good. I might even go on the outside here and add a little bit of a glow outside. Oh yeah, I like that. That is looking cool. And we're just getting closer and closer to white. Now remember, if you don't have multiple colors, you just press more lightly with your crown or your colored pencil and you'll achieve the same thing. So on the outside, you're pressing the hardest you can without breaking your pencil or your crown. And as you go inward towards the car, it just gets lighter and you press lighter and lighter and lighter. See what I mean? That's how you do it. All right, so now we have a really cool red underglow on our car. Now I've heard the drivers can actually turn this on and off. I don't know if that's true or not. I didn't build the cars, so I'm, you know, I don't know for sure, but that's the rumor I heard is that the drivers can actually turn that on and off a little bit. Look at that. It's pretty cool, huh? You're gonna be able to pick out that car really easily on the track. Looks like I got a little outside of my angle there, didn't I? I'm right. Oh, Devin's looking for some uh, payback from Jimmy Johnson to Keselowski. All right, I'll, we'll be watching for that too. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll happen and it'll benefit us, our JGR cars. What do you think? All right, now back to the car. We want to pick up Day Glow Super Bright Orange. And we're going to fill in our Bass Pro Shops colors around here like this. Alright. 
So we're going to fill in that space we created up on the car now. I remember we have the number in the new position. There's actually a big sponsor logo at the front of the door area on the car up here. That's where that oval comes into play. And I'm just filling in some color here for Martin Truex's car. And I might not be getting this design exactly right, but we're just kind of just kind of having fun with it here. We're not trying to make an exact perfect replica right now. All right. Takes our trucks about three hours to get out to Bristol, so they should already be there, but that's what's going on. All right. This is looking pretty good, don't you think? All right. Now I'm going to choose a really dark gray for the doors and the sides. It's not going to be perfect black, but that's okay. It's just going to be back here. And we're not going to fill in all the logos. We're going to make this car have some swooshes in it to make it look like it's going fast. So. You all know what car it is because it's number 19 and it's got the colors in there. See how I'm being kind of messy with my drawing? Some people don't like that. You can be, you know, more perfect and, and, and stay in the lines if you want to. But sometimes I feel like when you go outside the lines on a race car drawing, it makes it look faster. So that's what I like to do. I like to go outside the lines a little bit. It's all up to you about what style you want to work with. All right. Fill in those wheels with some, with some gray. A lot of gray on this car, actually. A lot of swooshy lines up there. On the hood. Even in the window area. This is going to be a stealth car. It's going to be hard for those other other drivers to see this car. They're going to, Martin's going to sneak up on them. Don't forget those tail lights, though. We want to put those Toyota Camry tail lights in there. Just give it a little space like that. Again, I'm just drawing really fast. Some red in the lights. I'm drawing really fast to make it look faster. See, I'm going to have the red lights go out of the, out of the line there. And I'm going to go back to a dark gray. It's okay to be a little messy with your drawings. That's what I'm doing right now. That's the per that's the style I chose because I think tonight's race, the All Star race, is going to be a little bit messy of a race. I think, and so you can use your drawing to tell a story, and that's what I'm predicting is a little bit of a messy race. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's a it's an exciting thing, I think. I'm actually gonna come up here and pick in some blue just to give it a little bit of a, a window feel to it. See I'm gonna add some blue in there. When you put blue and orange together, it makes the two colors pop off the screen even more. So that's what I'm doing, just adding some blue in there. I might pick up some more orange and just throw some orange around there just to give it some zoomy feelings right there oh yeah all right looking good looking good now the bass pro shops background is yellow again we're, we're kind of sketching it in it's not going to be a perfect logo here we're going to leave room for the fish the fish has some green in it that's a bass so we're going to draw our fish shape in there Again, we're just sketching it in. This is called a sketch. This is not a perfect drawing. And we're going to add in Bass Pro Shops letters. Look at just squiggles I'm putting in there because this car is going so fast. You might you can't really even see it. All you can see is that underglow zooming by. Speaking of which, I want to add some more red to that underglow and make it look like it's speeding by. So I'm going to put some more red down here just to add to it. Oh yeah, looking good. How's yours coming out? How's yours coming out? Let, let me know in the comments how yours is working. We have a lot of great viewers here. Thank you for all the hearts and for the retweets on Twitter, for the comments on Facebook and, and Twitter and wherever you're watching from. I am going to fill in some more of this scene here. Now, I'm on an iPad, so I can do it a little bit quicker than you can. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and start filling in. Looking pretty good here. I'm choosing a kind of a dark tan color. Reminds me of the Bristol asphalt out there. Just filling in around here. And the darker I get out here, the more my car is going to glow. Look at that. Look at that glow. Oh yeah. Now don't worry that I'm going faster than you. You can take your time. Fill it in. You don't have to wait for me. Sneeze. 
All right. Filling in down here with kind of a tan color. Looking good, looking good. Now I'm going to come back in because our car is kind of disappearing. And we can't have the car disappearing. So I'm going to come back in and I'm going to add some white swooshes just to kind of make it pop around the outline, okay? JJ Joe says his is okay. It's okay, JJ Joe. Keep practicing. I've been doing this my whole life since I was a little kid, so keep practicing. That's what this is all about. I appreciate everyone watching. I'm going to add these white swooshes in and just watch this car pop off the screen when I when I do this. Hopefully, hopefully it does. Just adding some swooshes in there, just on the outline, just to make this car really pop. That underglow really helps, but I think these swooshes are going to help too. Look at that. Oh yeah. A little outline going. Yeah. Alright. That really helped, didn't it? Now we can really see that car. Looking good. Don't you just love that underglow? I can't wait to see this tonight. I hope you're going to tune in. I will be watching, that's for sure. And I think you know who I'm going to cheer for. One of our four Toyota Camry uh, teams and drivers, Eric, Martin, Denny, or Kyle. Doesn't matter to me. A four-way tie to the finish would be ideal for me. Just a, a perfect tie with all four, four wide at the line. That would be great. But I know that's probably not likely going to happen. I know. All right, more swooshes up there. I think this is looking pretty good. We're almost done here. Hope yours is looking good. I feel like we need something up here, so I think I'm going to just do a light gray and just kind of make it look like a fence flying by. Nothing specific, just just a little bit of some action up there. There we go. Oh yeah. I like this. This is getting me excited about the race tonight. How about you? Are you looking forward to it? Alright, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sign my name on here. B-O-R-I-S. I'm going to put the date 20. 20. And there's our all-star number 19 Bass Pro Shops Camry that Martin Truex is going to be piloting. I'm going to put in Toyota at the back here. There we go. All right. That was a tough one, but I hope you stuck with it. If you're not done with it yet, just keep going and make sure you post your image in the comments so I can see it, so I can applaud you for a good job. Even if it's not as good as you want it to be, you can always try again tomorrow or, or even two in the same day. I've been known to draw two or three drawings in the same day. So uh, thank you so much. I hope you're going to watch tonight. I appreciate you tuning, me, tuning in. You know, as things are picking up, hopefully getting back to a little bit more normalcy. You know, I might, I might not be able to do a drawing show every single day. Sometimes I'm getting called into the office now, which is good, right? But uh, for the most part, we're still staying home, staying safe, and I hope you and your family are doing well. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you later.